Good morning to everyone. This is the power of healing with Utabi Ungowe Ketelo Unombilo Ukanya Equalentua Sashobo Mtombo Gutlegotua. Um, so today, guys, uh, as you see, which is the Kuluma about candle colors, uh, and I said spiritual chat room. So a lot of you would be wondering why do I say a spirit spirit chat room, not spiritual, but spirit chat room. Why do I say spirit chat room? Um, when we talk of candles, we're talking a spirit's language. It is the language of the spirits, candles. Ne? But okay, I send the Nganji. Uh, guys, you need to have a relationship. Okay, let's start with um, self-initiates. You need to have a relationship with the person or the, the, the forces responsible for your transformation. The forces that are changing your life. You need to have a, 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 a relationship sorry, with them because if your life was to what it is, there has to be benefits to that. So if you were working at earning sufficient salary and you, 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 you were made by spiritual forces to be at home, they need, you need to have a relationship with them so that you can understand what the transformation is all about. Okay? self-initiates because for self-initiating most of the time you really need to engage with them now with uh, initiate who go to ukobela i'm not going to exclude you guys i love you so much uh initiates who go to ukobela you need to have a relationship with the forces that sent you to ukobela because bef be be without those forces ukobela would not know what to do with you. So you need to have that relationship because for uh, they give the messages to Kobela on how to initiate you. So you need a relationship, guys. Either if you've got a spiritual calling or spiritual gift and that gift transforms your life, you need to have a, a relationship with that spirit, those spirit guides, those ancestors, those forces, whatever you may call it, you need to have a, a relationship with that force. Why am I saying this? So I'm not sure if you are aware, when I do videos, there's um, times when I repeat phrases or I, I, I say this, uh, the same statement too much and some people might think too much so today i'm going to do the same thing it's not that i'm not going to face that phrase in my space too much i think when i was doing a video about evoking spirits it's not that i'm used to new to the weight and and yeah i know so uh -uh. when i was the, the the relationship i have with ukoko is one way she shares a lot of things, including how a, a, a person's brain works or how to trigger things in a person's brain. So, guys, um, also, so she, she would usually, like, like, they've got sense of humor, believe me. So, she would, she, she would, they teach you how to trigger certain things in, in, in one's mind. So, like, basically, like, at school, they would, teach, they would teach you how to use a mind map for revision, right? So, Nabokoko, they do the same. But not going to share so much. You should have a relationship with your own Kokos. You would benefit from it, believe me. Um, so, yeah. So, guys, um, one thing that you're not aware of, I don't watch my videos after recording them. I don't watch my videos after recording them. Reason being, in my space, 
in my space there. Um, I don't do part two, part three, part four, part five, part six, unless reason, unless it's due to technology or disruptions. But I don't do that. Why? Once you do, once you do a, a, a video today, and then you do a part two, sometimes in three months, it's no longer authentic, or it no, it no longer has authenticity, which means it no longer comes from the horse's mouth or your spirit guides to you through learning to you, but now you've found new developments from other people that now you have seen or, or, or realized that you missed out things. Now you want to uh, 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 correct the first version. That means for me now, you weren't taught the thing because spirits don't change. That means the subject, if I were to talk about Amanono, every information that I say about Amanono will never change in two years' time or in three months' time. So why make part two? That means I wasn't really taught about this thing and I, I wasn't introduced by my guides to this thing, Ms. Fagemina. And this is why, guys, I don't do videos. I know you guys suggest and I love you so much for that and I, and I appreciate that. You, you suggest videos for me. But until it, it gets, it, it go ahead from our Goku, I'm not going to do it. Anyas. And I, will, I don't rely on research because then you are missing your own learning. You are not giving them the opportunity to, to teach you. Hence, I've said, when you have a relationship with them, with them and, 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 and they are responsible for your transformation, it should benefit you. So they need to teach you some of the things and they need to clarify some of the things to you. Okay? So that is in my space. I don't, I don't uh, do part two, part three, part four, because then it means I've got new development of information from other people or other sources of our watch, I've watched weird videos. It's very dangerous to watch people's videos because, guys, now we, we, we jump into conclusion. He, as a healer, as, as a pastor, as, 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 as a spiritually called person, a spiritually gifted person, Stop jumping into conclusion without fully understanding the core values of uh, of what you have. Okay, stop jumping into conclusion without understanding the cool the, the core values of what you have. And how the purpose of your calling or gift needs uh, uh, to be used. Or oh, I would say, uh, let me say it like this. Stop jumping into conclusion without understanding. What is this? The, what is it? that uh, uh, you are talking about or what is it that you are because we have a tendency of reading about something and 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 and, and now thinking we have the whole concept and we actually don't okay um Anything that we, 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 we do in a spiritual space, guys, must have meaning because there is a purpose for it. There is a purpose for you to be called or to use that thing. Sorry, there is a purpose for you to use that. And then, uh, and why am I saying this, guys? Patience with, 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 uh, Patience with whomever that granted you the gift of, of the gift, the spiritual gift or a gift or a calling, a spiritual calling is key. 
What do I mean by patience? I'm going to go back to saying they have to provide the training and the learning. They have to provide the knowledge and the skills to you. Okay. So when you are patient with your initiation, self-initiation, initiation through COVID, when you are patient with your initiation, when you are patient with your spiritual journey, things get to be clearer than when you do research from for, from other people. So when you have a relationship with your guides that you understand and you, 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 you wait for, you wait for their time to unveil things to you, then things actually become more better and things actually more be, become more beneficial to you. Okay. Patience ne, to clarity always gives full benefits of the gift. Patience uh, uh, to clarity always gives you benefits of the gift. Because with this gift, th this gift is so unique and so precious that um, as you learn, you are cooler, man. So, yeah. Remember that, guys, as, as, as healers, as spiritual cult people or pastors, if you are working with people in gym, in terms of spirituality, if you are called Ubiziwe to help to help people spiritually, whether being a church, whether being a healer, whether being a traditional healer, whether being any prophet, medium, you call them. You are responsible for the destruction and the construction of a soul. You are responsible for the making and the breaking of the soul. To destroy or to, to build a soul, you are responsible for that. Okay, so as I said, we are going to talk about candles. And, and all of this, what I've just said, is based on candles. Because, guys, we are mis we, we've misunderstood candles so much. And it is through people that are gifted that we got to misunderstand candle colors. <coughs> Sorry. It is through people. It is through people that are actually helping us that we got to, to misunderstood misunderstand the use of candle colors or, or what the candles are really for okay so um as i start now the use of of of, of, of guys so i've got an e file because i had to write no they this end is this is going to actually take me long i might even get a e e video cut off so when, whenever, guys, I, I do part two, I will inform you beforehand that there might be a possibility of a part two because of technology or because I see that uh, maybe the, the, the gadgets I'm using are actually uh, being disruptive. Okay? So I would tell you beforehand. So I will not do a part two uh, be just because I need to add information. No. What, I, what, I've, taught, what I've been taught, what I've written... That's all that I needed to say, or that's all, uh, that's the, and that is the abogoko identify what I need to say and what I don't need to say. And if it's left out, sorry guys, and hence I've said that we don't share everything as well. You must understand that. Um, have you ever heard of the saying darkness and light have nothing in common? And we and, and I think for the past uh weeks, man, I've been talking about spirits a lot. Ne? Uh, when we say darkness and light have nothing in common, it applies to candles. Okay, so I'll explain it a bit later. Guys, I might have to uh, 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 divulge into Isizulu so much or, or, or share this video uh, mostly in Isizulu because some of the concepts I sh I, I might, might be tricky in English. Uh, but yeah, but I think in Ipaleng Isizulu, so... And to explain it uh, uh, um, to your to your full benefit, somewhere somehow I'll have to explain it in, in Isizulu. Unfortunately, because some English doesn't have 
some of the words or doesn't have direct translation to the words. Um, when we talk about upasa, ne? when we talk about upasa, spiritual purposes, verses, praying, religious purposes, these are, these are the two. So when we talk about candles, we're talking about upasa, spiritual purposes, and when we're talking about u u u praying, tandaza, spiritual, uh, uh, sorry, religious purposes. Ne? The classification, guys, oh, before I, the, 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 okay, the classification and reasons of the spiritual realm is different to the of the spiritual realm ne, is different to the classification and reasoning of uh, 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 the, the the physical realm. So the classification will de and the reasoning for why we do things here and why we do things here is different. Candle use uh, is is different between the two. Okay? Candle colors and the use of candle colors is classified with different reasons uh, uh, separate from the physical realm and the spiritual realm. So in most cases, when people explain candle colors, they mix the two together. It doesn't work like that. Uh, and this is why I always say Things of spirituality in the spiritual realm and things of, of, of the flesh and physical realm don't go hand in hand and we need to understand to how to separate them. Okay? Uh, so, yeah. The classification and reasoning in which we use candles for the physical or the spiritual realm is actually very different. And, and, and it might be in spiritual reasons or in, in religious reasons. And I did mention that we need to understand the link and the difference between religion and spirituality. The link, but also the difference between the two. So that we are not caught into mixing things that don't go with this one. And taking the things that don't go with this one and want to put them in one pot. Okay? So, yeah, that's a, a sense in Kanji. Okay? <coughs> Are you. <coughs> what we have been doing, or what you have been doing <coughs> for years, guys, at 12 o'clock. Sorry, what you have been doing for years at 12 o'clock, you never really understood what you were doing. So I'm going to exp try and explain it to you today, what you've been doing at 12 o'clock when, when you say you're praying or you're part. So, <clears throat> and praying is different forms of channeling spirits. <laughs> Any spirit. Any spirit. Ukpash. Praying. Ukpash. I, I think it, it, it's sort of like ancestral prayers. Okay? Or, or, or incantations. Yes, I think it's incantations. Ukpash. And Praying is different. Ne? No, it's different forms. But uh, it's different forms, sorry, it's different forms of channeling. Hey, I don't know where my mind went just ne? I just I, I just and came back, so yeah. That's what uh, astral traveling does to you. You'd like switch gang with your boy. in praying. Guys, uh, is, 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 is two different forms of channeling spirits. Uh, now, 
I'm going to be using a lot of it demonstration today, ne? When we when we when we do this, guys, when you start doing this. Hey, I phone again. But anyway, when you start doing that, when you start doing this to a candle, do you know what it means? When you start lighting, when you start lighting Lilo, ne? When when you start uh, lighting your candle, uh, you are opening doors to spirits. You are opening doors to all dimensions of the spiritual world. All doors of the dimension of the spiritual world will open doors as soon as you light a candle. Okay? You are basically inviting the spirits into the light. When when you call and you light a candle, are you actually Inviting spirits into the light because all what they do, they work with light, guys, and vibration. And what they do is then, as soon as you light the candle, from your energy vibrations to the candle, you're inviting spirits without even knowing. Okay? Now, um, the meaning of that is that now I'm ready. To channel whoever that has come forth or that is or that is present so you are calling everybody because every every spirit would want to know the reason why you are calling or every spirit is drawn is drawn to your energy vibrations therefore to listen so when you do it at 12 you must understand at 12 all dimensions are open Evil, good, bad, dark, uh, dark, bright, all spirits are awakened at 12. All. Okay. So, I'm not going to get into that now. Uh, it might come back later. So, when now, um, I'm going to demonstrate something ne? as well. This. When you have this, ne? when you have this, this alone, like this, when you have it, it's 20% effective. This is my example, guys, because I want you to understand what candles is all about. When you have this alone, it is 20% effective. But then when we add you doing this and reading, you, you now have 30%. You now have 50 So we're going to add the 20 that the fact that you have this, we add the 30 that you've actually opened and read it, now, then we add the 30 of prayer after reading it and, 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 and after opening and reading this. Having it, opening it, reading it, and then we add the 30, which is now praying. It's 80% effective. But when you apply 20% of patience into what you read, you now have the full 100, which is more effective. Because prayer and prayer, reading the Bible, worshipping, without patience <laughs> is 80%. In everything that works with God and spirits and God himself being a spirit, uh, needs one to have patience. Okay? 
So I just wanted to demonstrate that so that you understand. Even with candles, so even with candles, um, candles, this, this, without with without this this alone is not effective. This alone is not effective. This with this gives you a certain percentage of of effectiveness but then when you add spoken words or instructions to it it is more effective because now you have reinforced these whole tools into one or oh, these are called the, 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 so the, 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 the spoken words or the instructions the prayer and the passing gives it effect it gives it effectiveness so you have reinforced other resources okay other reinforcements that's what i call this and 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 do pass and praying so channeling because guys i want to i want to explain this one so you understand I see with Nimpi. I had I hear this about red candles, ne? Guti li 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 loa izimpi. Nimpi ai loa iti. We are not we we don't fight the wars or the spiritual war warfare or the spiritual battles. But our ancestral spiritual our ancestral guides, our spirit guides, our guardian uh, 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 spirits. They are the ones who fight the fights. Hence, I'm saying this is not effective without Kuluma. They are the ones who fight the fight. So when you say to me, Candela, a candle is for fighting spiritual battles. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to explain later, guys. I'm, go, I'm actually I'm going there. Now, uh, your your uh, ancestors or your spirit guides, near people, tell you which amapai to use or, 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 or spiritual thoughts to use, which beads to use. So, do you think they wouldn't tell you which candles to use? For what? And what are the candles for? Because that's why I say with candles, guys, it is a, in, a through individual gifts and powers and through our spirit guides that we, we get which candles to use for our journey. And then they will give you explanations of why you are using those candles. Hence, I've said... It is very dangerous to listen to hearsay about things. Then you apply it and you don't know why you're applying it or you don't know why that person was advised to do it. You do it when not having the full instruction or the full manual or booklet of why, this is, of why you are doing this and how you go about doing it. Then you've got problems. And then you're doing it at 12 midnight inviting all sorts of spirits, channeling all sorts of spirits, and then you wonder why you get drained, you get fatigued in the morning, you get drained in the morning, you get sick during the, during the night, uh, you can't sleep all of a sudden, after praying, by the way, you can't sleep all of a sudden, there's this uh, uh, heat or coldness that's coming in and a whole lot of things and bad dreams and, 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 and nightmares. You wonder why. You've channeled all the spirits with the candles you lit. You channel all the spirits with the candles you lit. You've channeled them into your space. Because, as I've said, lighting a candle... Is opening all the atmospheres, also the dimensions. So when I, 
I mean, you've invited us into your space. And as a spirit, I also want to be involved and included in, 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 in things of this world because some of them crossed uh, over uh, by wrong doing. Some of them were, doing wrong, were, were, were practicing wrong things on this earth. So everybody, some of them, it's deities, it's all this. So you've, exp you've actually uh, invited all of them into this space. So why sleep? Why not have nightmares? Why not be sick? Why not have be drained? Because they all sit here. Bonke, basalala. Okay? So why would you think that your ancestors would not advise, if they can advise you about Amapai and which colors to use and what to use them for, why would, and, and the beads as well, why wouldn't they tell you what candles to use? Because Yankindo applies like this. Yankindo applies like this. If, if I were to use a, 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 a Ilendo, This. I'm a dug, guys. Unfortunately, blue is missing. I'm a dug, dug. This uh, 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 what we use in the space or a gift of prophecy, right? This. This is mostly used, these colors and these dukes, mostly used for the gift of prophecy. And it's, okay, mostly. Uh, so, if they tell you which duke which jazzy, which which uh, 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 um, cane or walking stick uh, to use, beads, uh, 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 crosses, ne? to use. Why wouldn't they tell you about candles? Because now you go lighting your candles, you've got a rainbow nation of seven colors of candles that you don't even know why you, what you're doing with them. And you don't even know who you are channeling, but you've got seven colors. Okay? Now, guys, uh, I see men lap, but I'm just giving, I was just giving you an example. Let's get to the candle colors now. Yeah? Let's get to the candle colors. I, I don't want to teach people or to teach Indo without Explain it, explaining it into depth, explaining it in details. Because before I can explain, before I can explain ca colors, I need to explain what candles I are for. I've already explained in one video how we communicate with spirit, with, with spirits, or how we communicate with candles, or how we receive and get messages from candles, like uh, through flame movement. Wax, and I think I, I said size. That is how we communicate with candles. Now, for me to explain colors, I need to clarify some of the things because I need to give you details on what I'm talking about. And that is on the uh, authenticity for me. Getting full information, I don't do half half. Getting full information of why are you going to have to use this thing. Unfortunately, guys, I think, I don't know if this video is going to be too long, but should it be too long? Uh, because there is a, a, a stage where I want to mix the colors of the candles so you understand how to use them for fighting. I lay red in Kulumangai. But this is my space, guys. In other people's spaces, I don't mind if they do things differently, but this is my space. Okay. So, I'm going to be dividing the explanation of candle colors into two. The spiritual aspect of it and the physical aspect of it. And there's a reason why. Because, as I said, they have different classification and there's different reasoning for different purposes. Okay? So let's start. Okay, let's start. Let's start. I'm not going to start. <laughs> or let me start with white. I wasn't going to start with white, but let me start with this white candle, ne? Just white candle. White, white, white. So you get people... Okay, I, let me not involve people in my problems. Let me talk about my problems. This is a white candle. A white candle, guys, is for peaceful spirits. A white candle is for Itunya Zezulu. 
Maulaita e can't tell you white. In spirituality, okay. In spirituality, ye tunya zezul. Archangels. Peaceful spirits. Spirits of justice. E tunya zoblu nisa. Imimoya yok tula. Imimoya yok tolo. Is it tunya? So this basically is zonke e tunya e kanya yo. Or zonke tunya zogu kanya. E tunya zezulis. And in e tunya zezulu or imimoya o. Zonke maulaita lili zonke zia kamu zia pagam. This is spirituality. Now when we go to the physical aspect of it, this is for peace. This is for purity. This is for um, innocence. Uh, I'm, I'm coming with peace. Uh, positive energy. Uh, for, for, for the goodness of the world. So that is a physical aspect of it, guys. It's not a spiritual. With the spiritual realm, when you open this canal, but more we later to the physical and ukela in tanta ukelu kanya. Now that's the physical aspect of it. But in China, when in which that is used for praying. So when you do praying, that's for religious purposes. You would use the physical, which is now the purity and all of that. But when upasa and channeling ancestral spirits and, and, and spirit guides and abakpete, le libizi tunya zezul. Tunya zok zekula tunya zok kanya mimoye mise imimoye epilayo. This one. Yeah? So did you see how I've explained it in different forms? Depending on what you are doing at that moment determines what you are using this for. So if you are praying <laughs> for, for luck and purity and you would use a different candle for different things but when you are passing for, to, to channel spirits it's used differently because it represents different spirits. That's why it's ne? And then we go to the blue. In the spiritual, in the spiritual or spiritual or pasha aspect of it. This is to invite a tunwa. The candelele tunwa, paramisi tunwa. Uparamisi itunwa zendaba. Uparamisa itunwa zama kesha. Okay? Ili donza itonga lindaba. So, itunwa zendaba, itonga lindaba. Ili donza itunwa. Oli, o, 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 o. Li kupula, sorry. Li kupula itunwa. Li donza matonga li kupula itunwa, guys. Okay? So, if you are going to Pasha, that is who you are inviting. Uh, which sometimes, or most of the time, Labantu Laba. Itunya Zagabo Babako. Okay. It's Tunya, Mouse Kupul is Tunya. Abantu who have the who start with the gift of prophecy would add would start with this with this combination but okay now I get who's going to be requested by the spirits or the spirit guides or ancestral guides upaga me some more than seven candles Upaga misa more than four candles. Not in my space. I am talking about in my space and it's guys. Even when Uzo consult us and Sikola, 
they tell me which candle to use. So even me now, as somebody who's got all these gifts, I'm Pagamisi more than four. Foot I've never even raised four. You you change colors according to instruction because they know at that moment what is that for or which why. So when you get so when you see a candle, when you pagami candle in most cases and it's through a vision and you see a a, 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 a candle. There is this is Tunya that wants to come through and give you a message. Does not necessarily mean email is something. So now I blue, you're talking about I blue, which in a spiritual aspect, email and and and, and partialisms. Now when you talk about I blue in terms of prayer and religious aspects and the physical aspect of it. Okay? The prayer, religious aspect of it, the physical. If blue is for protection, if blue is for focus, if blue is for forgiveness, water, fortune, truth, calmness. That is the physical aspect of if blue. So you cannot take the physical, you say, go, 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 spiritual and saying, so you use because I want forgiveness and truth. Mm-mm. Maulai da upagamis elei tuunya in the spiritual and the invital lezo ituunya, but maulai da in praying uzo tanda zanje ogu ogu nye. We need to understand how we do things, how we do things, why we do things, how we do things, eh, where we do things. Okay. Let's talk about yellow. Okay. Yellow. Ita <laughs> lozako. This, when we talk about abak um, when we talk about water spirits, abapete, abapati bamans, ita lazagbo mama, itonga lamans, na abapete wena. So if you are chosen or guided by a, a water spirit, an earth spirit, oh no, a water spirit, sorry, a water spirit only, water spirits, abakabo mama, amatonga mansi, eh, eh, eh. Now, did you, did you hear the difference? I spoke about E2, no? I spoke about E Dalwa. Amatonga. Okay? Itunya za manzi. Also. Tonga itunya za manzi. Abagabo mama. Paga misa mandako. Awase manzi ni. Li paga misa amandako. Awase ntabi. Okay? Mix together. In all, like in 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 both, and and the and the So the the two ituna are mixed together into this now. Okay. Now, when we we talk about the physical and religious aspect of praying. With a yellow candle, with a yellow candle, it means sun, intelligence, luxury, memory. You understand. So when you are praying for intelligence, for luxury, for memory, uh, for wealth, you would use a yellow. This is the now the the, the 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 physical aspect of it. So you cannot take the physical and say your pagamisa, um, your pagamisa. Inable, or I'm going, uh, I'm inviting or channeling in neighbor. When you pass or you pass, when you pray, you pray. Those are two different things. And when you pray for the for the physical aspect of, of things, pray for the physical aspect of things. But when you're channeling and you're inviting spirits and 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 upasha and and guides, oh, oh, oh. then 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 lena say shogunye. Red, I don't have it, guys, because I don't use it unless I'm asked to buy it for someone, or unless I'm asked at that particular moment. Unfortunately, I'm um, 
For that particular moment, I must use it, then I use it. I read, guys, a yellow zilet honga. A sorry, a led a lozi lobungoma. If for the spiritual aspect, spiritual, a for ugu upasha spiritual aspect of things, or upasha spiritual purpose of things. If Ulai do read, you are calling or inviting or channeling Idlozi Lobungoma. Now, when you channel that one, you must understand. You cannot channel it. You cannot channel it because it lose. And I remember we spoke about the, the differences. You cannot channel and invite those spirits. That spirit without your trust. That's when you get problems. That's when you so humble your trust. Because when you pagamisa, you pagamisa man that tease, when they tease, and then now you get stuck. Okay, this is my space. I don't know about other people's space. Now the physical and religious aspect of it. When you use urate. Yes, now we can say. The spiritual and the physical aspect of it. This, if you say, now I'm, I'm fighting. It represents fighting. It represents fire. It represents uh, strength. It represents survival. Power. Okay? Eh, 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 eh. Action. Yes, the physical aspect of it. If utandaza. If utandaza la mandra. And, and, and. For the physical world and the physical, for the physical being, yes, but you cannot pasha inviting spirits with the red. You are inviting elos. <laughs> That's why do things get the right, get courtesy right. If I way to mix the mix this with yellow, busy it was lamans. On biza it. It goes, you know, mama told my man's. If I mix this with red, okay. If I mix this with this, um, paga misa mandam. You two na zoko langiti, so amandam ilau because amandam then I'm be available manzi. Angit. Paga misis two na sam because it's two na sam is valent abein. Angit. Okay. And then now, uh, brown. Unfortunately, I don't have it because uh, I've never been requested to use it. So I don't have it. Uh, I haven't, not, not that I've never, but I haven't been requested to use it. Time will come. Time comes for everything. There's time and place for everything. Brown represents... <coughs> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> when we look at um, the, the, the Ugupasha spiritual aspect or purpose of a brown candle, we're looking at Upagamisa Balusi. We're looking at Upagamisa Balusi. We're looking at Upagamisa Inyoni Zezul. Umoya we Inyoni Zezul. Okay, that is why it's loose. But if you're going to use brown for prayer, religious purpose of it, it is stability. It is pets. You are praying for pets or maybe you've got pets or dogs or animals that you're taking care of. House blessings. Uh, so, guys, uh, now, with it brown, when, when we say, when I said the spiritual aspect of it, it brown has the same purpose as a maroon for Abalus. So, the spiritual purpose of a maroon candle, or, 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 or what is it, the bright maroon candle, would be to channel the spirit of Abalus or Rinyonizezul, 
okay uh imo ya yinyo ni zezulu um now um yeah so the the same thing with this, the, the the physical aspect of it the maroon one as well so brown and maroon actually goes together now let's come to green this one ne? green is for e tunya zendalo guys there's the the ugu pata spiritual aspect of it you are inviting e tunya zendalo you are inviting okoko guys abasheshayo okay oko this is mostly e tunya zendalo is most okoko but the okoko mostly eh I'm just reading this. My handwriting sometimes is bad, and I unfortunately in Avelen I use any calendar. So this is about Koka Bashika Bashishayo and about Bekan and Nayo Yonkinto that you're going through. So um so but began and nento that you're going through now. So if you're going to uh, uh, light this for spiritual purposes or inviting certain spirits you in basically inviting it to it to your zendalo oh koko aba pegana ne simo oh oh aba sheshayo oh koko batuma basheshe let me say that oh koko batuma basheshe oh batuma basheshe eh 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 ba pegana ne simo they singa singa khona i oh koko basheshe izali kaze isheshayo lesi uh as i said I tunya zendalo ba pati bomsha ba tila abantu abazi your footsteps noguti kanjwe pi guatata wa gupi guatanga niswa nani so now if you are say if if you say to me I'm fighting okay but you must also remember that umuntu opiwe loko. Guys, it's not likely. Uguti upiwe loko. Sometimes it's not likely. Ugu tunga piwa kanje. It's not likely. If uzo piwi ndalo, unga piwa kanje. So, even if ugu tuwa upiwe kanje, batando abase kaya, even tuwa upiwe lei tunwa o lei dalwa zonke. Or these fossils. Or as I said, they tune your the spirit guide to this ancestral. If you pure born kekanje, it's not likely. But every day, my part, are you going to need all of them, kanje? Go corner between this and this. Go corner, but pack a magakulu go away. That's why we need to know one is better or pet, so that it goes together. Those two are very important. Or pet and better. Then the others are just. Spiritual guides, abakamuka, and I did explain this in one of the videos. It's not likely to go to my kanji. So, if you're doing it for the spiritual purpose of it, guys, and we are inviting Naba, Naba Bantum Clambe, guessing at Tibanga Hamba by Ogluen, because Masba Biza, then, and as I said, uh, 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 candle plus umlilo plus ukuluma and give instructions. That determines my results also at all. So if niti gyan tuma ke manje boko kuguti hambani na yimpi mile or na imisa ngagi mimbe or na sisi mosiganje. Now it's understandable because they do the fighting for you, not the candle. So the physical, the the physical aspect and religious aspect of this would be a a, a lack, money, a, what is this? See? Plants, nature. And success, which is understandable because now obviously people will think this is for a eh, 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 big money because it's green, obviously. Yeah, one good thing is into we give it a physical explanation. As thing is into we've actually given it a physical explanation and taking it and trying to take it into the spiritual aspect of things. Now, black, yeah, one again, guys. Uh, Black guys. 
a lot of people have in Donya black. Abantu bapaga misu black guys. I angnalo. I'll never have it. I don't think I'll have it. I said to you, darkness and light have nothing in common. And that's what black is. Black guys, if you uzo paramisa, uzo paramisa itunya zobu o imimoya, spirits of darkness, spirits of evil, bad spirits, when they do ama ceremonies of worship for deities, they use black. When they when umuntu ayotenga i tunya zakini no ma yotenga matu nakini uses black. When umundu afuna ugukselas uses black and then you go and pray with black. Inviting all deities and bad spirits into your space and guys. So that is the, the spiritual aspect of black. You are it actually as it is black, it is inviting the blackness, the, the black spirits, the dark spirits that we spoke about. Uh, you are worshipping those now. You are inviting those and worshipping those. Now the physical now, aspect of black, and this is why people get it confused. The physical aspect of, 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 of black still has negativity in it. Still has pride in it. Still has a... And then it has safety. If you feel like you're unsafe for safety, but you know, you see now, then we as healers would say to you, use black for, for, for protection. It is the physical aspect of it, but you can't use it for pass. You can't use a black or pass. You are inviting deities and all of that. Okay? Moya yobu miyama jeleo guys. I don't want to lie to you. Now I'm going to come back to one thing. I'm done. I think that's the, 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 the ones. I think that's the six or seven that I wanted to explain further than that guys. Not my space. This is my space. Not my space. Now I spoke about shamanic churches in South Africa. And I spoke about um, Zioni, Apostle. And I spoke about Uwesel, right? In one of my videos. Now, when we go back to candles and we go back to shamanic churches, the reason why in a group where a church now is performing praise and worship or they would use the green, the yellow, the blue, the red. Reason being in a church, let's say why they would use all those colors, including a white. You cannot use black and white, guys, and saying I'm inviting, uh, I'm praying with black and white. Hmm? And also you cannot use red and white for fighting. If I need in a fight. So the spiritual aspect of it, this is it is a call I need. But when funukula right now. Right now I want to so how do you then invite spirit to call but we are or vigimpi? But if you say to me, I'm going to take this and and vigimpi and passing and vigging in be with this one, then it's understandable to my laban to labang it. So now, uh, that's the main part. So when Esayoni, they would light all these colors, they were basically saying it represents abantu abat lukile no ma itunye kuhu because abantu ba na manda lukile. That is why they would light all the candles. It doesn't mean necessarily koni desidwa. They are just saying, the channel thing that we're doing at this moment is for everybody to be accommodated because People have different spiritual gifts and calling. So that is why. That is why we use those candles. Not necessarily that. I hope that I've explained it in detail and gave, given it more explanation so you understand it thank you so much this is the power of healing with tabby love you guys and i hope you start to use that if you don't know if you haven't been shown your candle please use white then you are praying then you are passing then we understand if you are unsure use white that's the safest. 
thank you so much guys and i hope you do enjoy my videos subscribe share like uh, like uh, turn on notification button thank you so much bye bye